So to get started with this video, you're going to need four millimeter hook, 4.5 millimeter hook, or a five if you would like, some scissors. You don't need a measuring tape per se, uh, but I'll be using it anyway to help you guys um, see. And then of course your yarn, I'm using the usual charity double knit yarn because like I said, it's the cheapest yarn you can find in South Africa. If you can buy cotton, you can use cotton or any other type of acrylic that you like will work as well. But yes, let's get started. Um, to begin, let me just remove the camera from, we're going to start with the magic ring. We're going to start our waist part with the magic ring. Um, so the, I remember now it's the magic ring. <laughs> so you go underneath over and then I go under to pull it out and there's my ring and I'm pulling it. I'm going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's our 12. Now I'm going to go back uh, into two chains. Let me just zoom in so I can help you guys. Um, so I'm going to go back two chains. So this will be one, two, and then in the third, no, sorry, in the second, we are going to do single crochet. So we're not going to go underneath. We are just going to go in once. So that was the first one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we are going to turn around and start crocheting at the back, chain one and we go back and we are going to go into this space here, the back. So you turn it up and you can see the back side of it and we're going to go back. If you don't want your, like if you struggle to make this row straight, it's better to count and make sure that you always have 12 towards the end. So this will be my three because if you miss, it's going to get shorter or if you add more, it's going to start going to the side. So make sure that the amount is exactly the same um, when you go back. But because I am used to doing this style, I don't count or use a marker. But I must say, I do count sometimes in my head because I've realized that if I don't count, I end up not knowing how much I did, like now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we chain one and we go back. We're going to do another 12. In the back again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12 chain one and we go back into the back again so we are going to continue doing this until it goes around your waist this is going to be a, your skirt part stretch it slightly not too much because it does stretch so you don't want it to eventually stretch out and be too loose so it's better to stretch it out now a bit while you um, want to assess your waist so make it long enough to go around your waist 12 chain one and I'm going back again hi everyone so I ended up doing a hundred and twenty five um, rows and now we're going to join our waist so I'm still using the four millimeter to join the waist when I put it together go and <coughs> we are going to sorry I have a bit of flu we are going to single crochet the two points together so you go underneath hold on to that bit so that you can go can cover it make sure to align the two sides can be tricky to cover that part but you can do it and just bring that underneath we have covered the leftover yarn so as it looks neat <coughs> excuse me right so now we are going to change our we're going to change our hook size from a 4 to a 4.5 oh my word that came out just gonna put it back and then there you go now I'm going to use a stitch marker you can use a piece of yarn to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> to put um, where the skirt and so that would have been chain one then we're gonna no that would have been chain one chain two because we already chained one from the other side so now I'm just gonna put the stitch marker in there and we're going to put a half double crochet going all the way to the other side Going to put in the half double crochet into the stitches. I don't know why now I'm struggling with this 4.5. It's just dividing the yarn. So make sure that you go half double crochet in each row. Each row will have a half double crochet. On this side, oh my word, you guys, this hook is dividing my it's 
It's dividing the yarn. If it continues, I might just have to use a 4mm hook instead of the 4.5. I don't know why it's doing that so just a bit of a tip uh, don't go under here because it's going to make it's going to make the yarn uh, make a hole here so you want to go in between this yarn instead of just going under the main yarn you see here if I can zoom in So here, instead of going just underneath, which is easier, I go in between this crochet stitch. Okay, I am losing my patience with this damn yarn. But maybe it's just this row, and when we get to the other side, it will be easier when we get to do the second row and the third row. So I'm just going to do this until the end of the end of the yarn and I will meet you towards the end. So I have reached the end and now I'm going to just connect. So that was chain one and I'm going to connect the second chain and we're going to do the slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one, two. So I'm just going to put the stitch marker, 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 the stitch marker in the second. Um space and we're going to crochet into this space so we're going to be doing half double crochets and we're just going to put one half double crochet into each space or each um, half double crochet going all the way around and we're going to do this for six rows so you can do six to eight rows it's not going to make too much difference so we okay so I'm going to just do that put in half double crochet one half double crochet into each space and then when I come to this side then I'm going to slip stitch in the top one and then do the same thing I did by chaining two and then put a stitch marker in the second stitch and yes so this is how it's going to look and then I'll show you after I have done my rows right so I have made one two three four five six seven eight eight rows and I'm going to join and then we're going to start increasing so there, I'm joining that. One, two. Okay. Now you're gonna look at that. So now you wanna look in the middle of the skirt to start increasing. Just try to put as middle as possible. Doesn't have to be like exactly, exactly the middle. So we're going to double crochet put um, single double crochets uh, in each of the spaces as you were doing but we are going to increase the size of the skirt just now so 
so that our balm fits in the skirt. Okay, so now you see I'm almost on the middle part of this one. I'm going to do an increase here, increase here, increase in front, increase in front here. So now I do an increase in this space. So I put in one half double crochet and I'm going to put in another half double crochet in the same space and then we continue. Bring in close so you can see a bit what I'm doing. This is where I put in the two half double crochets in one space. I'm trying to, like this camera just has an autofocus which is kind of annoying at times. Um, okay, so half double crochets going all the way to the side. Okay, we're just going to check just now to see where we are to make sure okay so now we are on this side and we are going to do a double crochet just now Okay, so half, not double crochet, half double crochet, two half double crochets in that space and we continue. Going that way. We are almost to a point where we can do two half double crochets to increase the skirt. Okay, we can increase here put two half double crochet in that space and continue we are going to the point where we need to do another increase on the other side of the bum cheek bum cheek bow bow
Okay. Let's see how far we are. Okay, we can add two half double crochets in this space. And we're going to meet the middle now. The next row we are not going to increase. We are just going to be crocheting normally. Just half double crochets in each space. And Then we increase in the next row and then the next row not increase. Okay, so chain two. And now we're going to do half double crochets, no increase. So just one half double crochet in each. And then in the next space, you're going to increase like we did with four on the front, four on the back, and then the next um, the next row you don't increase and so forth until it covers, the skirt fits perfectly on your bumps and waist. So it keeps increasing. If you want to increase even more because maybe you have a smaller waist, you just put in an extra two half double crochets to increase even further. So I'm going to do my half double crochets, go all the way around, and then I'm going to increase in the next space and then not increase in the next space. So I'm going to be doing that, changing, changing, decrease, no decrease, Ach, increase, no increase, increase, no increase, increase, no increase. So here is how the Scared looks, it's just going to increase a bit more. I'm not going to do a lot of rows because by the time we come here, it will be up to there and it will fit me. So let me go ahead and continue with my skirt to a point where I stop the increase, decrease, increase, decrease. I just do the skirt. Um, so this is how it looks currently. I did six. <clears throat> This is the first six, one, two, three, four, five, six of not um, doing anything, any increases or anything like that. And then from here on, I did increase in here and 16. So it's six plus 16 of um, increase, no increase, increase, no increase, increase, no increase, just like that. Um, <clears throat> So increase, I said you put in two here, two here, two here, two here, until it's this way. So now I'm going to just do the normal um, crochets without doing any, without doing any increase. Um... So I'm just going to do that without doing any increase. <clears throat> Chain one, two, like we did before, or like we have been doing. And of course, do half double crochets going all the way around. So now I'm going to stop when I have done the 
length that I like the skirt to be. So now I'm just going to be doing half double crochets all the way to the end or close to the end let me rather say all the way close to the end of the the skirt with the length that I am happy with when I fit the skirt right everyone so this is the length of the skirt overall let's just measure from here where the body part of the skirt starts and that's about 12 inches in centimeters uh, 32 32 centimeters so now we're going to switch things up a bit what we are going to do is we're going to crochet the back the back um, panels of the skit the back rows of the skit so i've chained one two just gonna zoom in so you guys can see okay so we're going to start crocheting at the back for this row So we're, going, we're doing half double crochets at the back, not just the front. So I'm actually trying something new that I think might work much better. So if it flops, you're flopping with me. <laughs> I have done this skirt before, but I did not uh, use this method. But I think this method is going to work so much better for the interpretation that I saw from the design I think this method will work much better so we are doing half double crochet still using the 4.5 millimeters at the back we're doing half double crochet for this row the next row is just going to be the normal half double crochet and then the following row is going to be back and the following row after that one is going to be a normal double crochet. So this is how it looks. You can see there's a line in front. This is where we're going to put in our, our peplum. Not peplum. What do you call that? Our ruffles, yes. Our ruffles. So I'm going to go around and do this. Then I'll come back and show you the next row and then we'll do the next row together and finish the body of the skirt before we get to doing the the ruffles on the skirt okay so I have done that and you can see that line going there and then I did the slip stitch and I chained my two now in this row we're going to put in the normal um, half double crochet in the in the next stitch and in this entire row so this one you see that when you do the half double crochet it does not make a line so it's the normal half double crochet then in the next row you're going to do this where you have double crochet in here and not just over here and in the next row after that you do the normal and then in the next row you do another three so you must do so that you have three so it's one of these at the back normal one of these at the back normal one of these at the back normal so i'm going to show you after i have done that and we can start working on our ruffles so this is how the skirt looks now um, you can see that this is where I crocheted at the back and then normal crochet and then I crocheted at the back and then normal crochet and I crocheted at the back and this is the normal crochet 
So I cut off my yarn here. I'll hide the that bit in a, in a little bit. Um, and now we're going to start with the ruffles. Um, okay, let's try and zoom in. So now we're going to start with the ruffles. I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter hook. You can use that four that you used um, at the beginning. That's a 4.5, but yeah, that four you can use um, at the beginning. So either one of the two will work. So I'll start at the top. So now we go into just going to tie that. That is the first stitch that we did the back at. I'm going to tie it so we can start doing double crochets. So in that stitch, going to do one, two, three. And in the same space, we do two. And then in the next space, we're going to do three double crochets. Two, three. Then in the next space, we do two double crochets in the same space. One, two. And then in the next space, we do three double crochets. Might be easier to just bend the skirt actually. Three double crochets. And then in the next space, we do two double crochets. Three in the next space. And okay, so this is three. And two in the next space. And then three double crochets, one, two, three, and two, one, two, then three, one, two, three, and two, one, two. So this is how it looks. You can see that it's looking nice already. Um, all right, so I'm going to meet you at the end here and I'll show you how we continue in the same row, but on a different, um, on the second um, row of this ruffle to make it more ruffly. So I'll see you at the end. So I have reached the end. Now I'm going to slip stitch. Two, three, and we slip stitch in here. One, two, three, in the same space. Now in the next space, I'm going to put in two double crochets and then one and then two double crochets and then one and two double crochets but if you want it to be a little bit more curlier you can do as we did and put in two one two and then three one two three 
and then one two so you can continue that way but it's going to be curly anyway even if you put in one two or even if you put in two and three it's still going to be curly because the bottom of the skirt was curly anyway um, so I'm going to continue doing two three and I will meet you I'll do two three you can do two three you can do um, one two but I'll meet you at the end so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do the same for this row that's standing here and do the same for this row that's standing here when you get here you do the slip stitch you join and this is going to be the only um the only things that we do we're going to do two rows that's it and then two rows two rows on this lines so this is how the skirt looks With the three devils if you want it less wiggly um you just put in one two one two like i said but yeah this is how the skirt looks and just to quickly show you i'm going to make this um tie thing at the top for you to put through the skirt so that's just simply a chain so you just go under and you chain over and you're just going to Keep chaining, you know, until you arrive at the length that you that you like and it goes around the skirt. So through the skirt you put in through here, through there, through there, through there. So in and out, in and out, in and out, weaving it around the top of the waist. And this is how everything looks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you have remade this good and subscribe to my channel because i really appreciate all the comments and the views and that's it for today see you next time